Hello everybody and welcome to another motorcycle gear review. We're talking about the gloves that I've been using, the Druid 3 by Dionese. These are the long version of the gloves with a cuff involved, some carbon fiber on the top of the hand with the Dionese logo and knuckle protectant. The fingers are comfortable with a pinky protectant and the hand has a protectant as well. The palm has a small pad which helps with the grip on the handlebars and the cuff has a velcro strap to make the glove tight against the jacket. As I put on the glove you can see how it forms against my hand just right. This is a medium and as I close the velcro strap you can see how it is snug against my jacket. This makes it feel like one piece and makes me feel fully in control of what the glove does. The second strap along the wrist is great just to get an extra secure fit. When dealing with the motorcycle, it is of utmost importance to have full dexterity in both of your hands, both for the clutch lever on the left and the brake lever on the right. So here I walk through a little bit of the feel. Having the gloves fit just right make it very easy to go from the two finger movement to the four finger movement, if I so desire, or even a one finger movement like a lot of riders use with sensitive brakes. We also have to worry about the throttle hand here which is very sensitive and requires tiny movement. On the clutch lever side we can easily pull the lever all the way in but on a bike like this feathering it very slowly as you see here and then releasing it very slowly requires that the glove allows me to have full control. Taking a closer look, you can really see how the gloves give me full dexterity and mobility to pull that brake lever with the two fingers or even optimize for four fingers if I so choose. There are additional controls like the engine cutoff switch that I have to use my thumb for as well as the engine start. Taking a closer look at the clutch lever again, you can see how I release slowly and then spend some time feathering the clutch, which is what you'd be doing at slow speed. So this requires hand strength, of course, but also the full control and mobility, just like with the other hand at all times. There are also controls to use your thumb on, such as the high beam and the left and right turn signal that require dexterity. Hello, everyone. Here we have my Dionese Druid 3 gloves on an actual ride. These gloves are super comfortable, first off. It's a really genuine leather, obviously, being from Dionese, very luxury brand. And so these gloves are nice because they're the long glove, which in the summer you could argue is not as good as the short gloves that don't go further than sort of your wrist. But for me, this adds an extra sense of being secure and snug. So how do these work out in the warm Colorado days where it gets up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit? So far, they've been a little hot. They're not perforated, so no air is going through them. So you start to sweat on some of these longer rides with the heavy sun on top, obviously being black, absorbing all the heat. So that is something to note. I may look for more of a perforated, breathable summer glove. What you do get with the glove though, is a lot of protection. Now this isn't a race glove, but it's as close as a race glove as you'll get for the street. That's why I bought it. I want, wanted something for my riding style that's decently aggressive going into canyons, but nothing on the track or super high speeds. So it brings a lot of protection with it through the different guards that you saw on the knuckles and the inner side of the hand and then the pinky finger. I really like that. So when you talk about aesthetics, I really like that it's basically all black. There is a little Dionese logo right in the hand there. However, it's got a slick look to it, a little bit of carbon fiber on the top of the hand there, which adds a nice appeal to it. For me, it matches my exhaust. I have a couple of other carbon fiber pieces on the bike. Subtle detail, but really nice. It's somewhat the first thing you see, especially with the video recording, is your hand. So I wanted something you know, I felt really good in. They're just as easy to put on, they're easy to take off. I just snapped this one, you don't have to worry about that. Easy to pull. Lightweight, put them on the top of my seat. And you can rest your helmet on top of these too. They've been very durable, there's no sense of wear or tear after a few months. So, feeling pretty good about them. 
So those are the gloves, very happy with them. And we'll talk about the next piece of gear next time. Take care and we'll see you soon.